everybody. It's Steve of the Plastic Adventures Podcast, coming at you with another episode of Plastic Bits. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really, really cool update of a beloved 80s icon. We're going to be having a look at Kingdom Optimus Prime. So when looking at this figure, this really isn't what would be considered retro done right, but more of a modern day update to a classic character. Uh, Transformers has been super strong on the toy shelves uh, darn near since its inception back in about 1983, uh, with the exception of a few years in the 90s, what Doug and I often refer to as the Dark Ages for Transformers. So this isn't really a retro look, but it is a look at what I consider to be the absolute best retail release of an Optimus Prime figure since the original G1. Uh, in many ways, probably superior to that G1 mold, but uh, we're not going to go there. We're not going to step on it because you just can't. Uh, so taking a look, Kingdom Optimus Prime is on the left. And if you're uninitiated, Kingdom is actually the third in a series of Transformers waves that have been supported with some animated media on Netflix. Uh, Kingdom really is taking modern sculpting and got back to the basics on many of the figures. Uh, getting back to those original G1 style cars um, uh, and really just kind of a gigantic love letter to the fans out there before they head off into the next series which is Legacy. But when you look at this Optimus Prime it's virtually everything you could ever want in the toy. Uh, you've got good scale, you've got proportionally uh, but we're not here to poo-poo yesterday's technology because when those toys originally hit the shelf it basically just blew every little boy's brains apart when they saw the toys so uh, essentially what we have is an extremely cartoon accurate generation one optimus prime from top to bottom uh, you've got great colors they're nice and bright this figure has seen a couple of different retail releases one featuring the trailer which is what came with the version that you can see here and the other was actually packaged as a separate figure with a little helper, I guess you'd call it, as part of the Netflix series. That second figure uh, had, had darker colors, a little bit more akin to the G1, but overall the aesthetic was the same. Um, I mean, you want to talk about a great update. This figure is hyper articulated and it's well hidden. Everything from closing hands to bicep and shoulder rotations, waist, hips, knees, ankle rockers. I mean, it's got everything that you could ever want. And as it sort of rotates here, um, you'll also notice on the back there's a little tiny hole and that new gun pegs into it. Uh, essentially, the only weak things I can see on this figure are uh, so simple aesthetics. Um, you've got a couple of ports on the exhaust pipes where some of the new ex accessories are meant to plug in and the gun's a little bit chubby for me. But overall, I mean, it's just a terrific figure. And as I've said in other videos before, uh, you're, you're buying your memories back. And you have this figure, and it just reminds you of seeing the character right out of the original animation. Uh, not to step on the original toy, but as you, as you can see side by side, if you were to take a look at the animation model, uh, the, the original G1 just doesn't, doesn't hardly compare. And I'd even venture to say that if you were a kid and you could transport this toy back in the DeLorean and saw it on the shelves, you'd be grabbing this before you grab G1 Prime because of the uncanny resemblance. But uh, overall, uh, just a terrific figure. If you're on the fence, just take a look at it as it rotates. Uh, the engineering is top-notch. Uh, there's very, very little kibble or bits sticking off of it sticking off the figure in any direction. Uh, the transformation is into a seamless semi-truck with the what they would call a cab over engine style which is exactly G1 and what we've wanted. Um, even great paint apps on the windows, that sort of metallic blue. So it can still be got on Hasbro's Pulse website which is their direct to collector website and if you're lucky you may still see some out in the stores but we're getting ready to roll over to Legacy. So don't miss your chance to pick it up. It's going to cost you about a $50 bill. If you don't, you're going to be paying 100 bucks for this thing in another six months. So so there you have it, guys. That's Kingdom Optimus Prime in a nutshell. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments, questions below, agree, disagree. 
and I will see you guys in the toy aisles.